Deciding to attend UC Davis changed Bill Hollingshead's life. The fall before I entered college, I went over to the Crocker Art Museum and saw, to listen to a recital by a young professor, Professor Jerome Rosen of UC Davis, and we spoke later, and he said, where are you headed? And I said, I'm headed to Berkeley. Why is that? Well, because of the music program. And he said, we now have a music program at UC Davis. And he explained to me that I could get everything I needed for either a musical degree or a music minor. So it was October 24th, 1954, that I changed my direction of going to Berkeley and went to Davis, and it was the greatest move I've ever made. He credits UC Davis for teaching him so many of the skills that helped him to succeed as a teacher, a lecturer, a performer, and a fundraiser. I got a tremendous education at UC Davis, both in education and in social life and in business life. I got private clarinet lessons for two years from Jerome Rosen. And also, I started my own dance band, and I knew that you played to the public rather than to yourselves. And my band was so popular, I ended up with a band booking service. And I was booking other bands, and then I learned the principles of contacting, sales presentation, meeting with the client, uh, signing a tr contract, getting the check. <laughs> Bill's amazing resume includes Army veteran, polio survivor, touring musician, magician, and entertainment director for SeaWorld San Diego and Knott's Berry Farm. But he credits another accomplishment as his most cherished. I think the greatest part of my career was actually opening up my own business. And for over 30 years, I have had Bill Hollingshead Productions Talent Agency. And I've had the freedom to pick and choose with whom I deal. I've had a wonderful career uh, having represented people like the Righteous Brothers, Ricky Nelson, Jan and Dean, who had Surf City, and diverse acts such as Sherry Lewis and Lamb Chop and Wolfman Jack. I never had them both on the same show, however. A wonderful sense of humor and a desire to give back to the university helped to make Bill a hit at events all across the campus. As well as being involved with the music department at UC Davis, I'm very involved with the Cal Ag Alumni Association. Both my wife, Sharon Diane, and I are lifetime members. I'm a member of the Golden Society. That's not particularly an honor, it just means I'm old. But I got recognition from them. They gave me a certificate suggesting that they, they appreciated my work at school when I was a student because I was in that third of the class that made the upper two thirds possible. Bill was caught off guard when he found out that he would be honored with the Aggie Service Award. And when Rich called, he called on, on his cell phone from San Diego. And I thought, well, that's unusual. What warrants a call from San Diego on a cell phone to me? And when he announced that I had been awarded the University of California, Davis, Cal Aggie Alumnus of the Year Award for Service, there was a silence on the phone, and he said, Bill, are you still there? I said, yeah. And he laughed and he says, Bill, this is the first time I've ever seen you speechless.